Okay, let's do our warm ups <clears throat> and just some gentle yoga today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up for our warm ups. <clears throat> Activate your core. So ribs towards your spine and up, shoulders back and down. And just feel the heart open and the spine lengthen. And take a moment to breathe, focusing inward. Inhale, arms at shoulder level. Stretch your fingertips out to keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front. And then exhale, your hands behind you. Clasp the fingers and lift your heart. Stretch your spine, especially through the back of your neck. <clears throat> and then exhale, pivoting over at your hips. Hands up, head down, spread your toes. Move your jaw, chin around, get the neck released a little more. And then with your knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of your spine, working back up and lift your heart. So another upper body back bend as you come up. Stretch away through the top of your head, down with the shoulders. And then inhale, upright, release your arms, and just take a moment, feeling a little bit warmer, and activate it. Again, arms and shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head away, and then pivot it a little bit. And deeply into that position as much as you'd like, lifting your sitting bones. And again, just relax there. Stretch your neck a little bit. And bending your knees. Lift the ribs as you drop your sitting bones and wind from the bottom of your spine back into the back bend. So lift your heart. Keep the hips over your ankles and stretch your head back away. Spread your toes, and then come on up and release. Take a moment there, again, just noticing your yoga response, getting ready to do our sides. So remember, when we do the sides, we're doing straight to the front with the shoulders and the hips so that you're moving through that lateral motion, stretching the ribs apart. Keep the shoulders down as you bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows, and then bring your arms by your ears. Sink the sitting bones toward the floor and the crown up. Stay facing the front as you lean over to one side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra opening through the ribs. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhale it. Come on back up, switch the hands around. Again, arms by your ears. Stretch up through the head and fingers and lean to the other side. Take a breath, just feeling that opening along the side as you push the foot down and hands up. The ribs stretching as open as you like. Inhale back to the center and release into mountain pose. And get ready to stretch your spine apart for our twist. Shoulders back and down, crown high. And again, arms back, shoulder low. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above. And stretch out, elbows across. Sitting bones, shoulder blades down, crown high. Stretch the spine apart and exhale, turning to one side. Take a breath. Pivot on over in the twist. Spread your toes. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Keep the arms by your ears. Just bring your arms toward the floor. Shoulder blades down toward your waist. And of course, don't forget to breathe. And then with the weight on both feet, work your way up in the twist and lift your heart. So remember, no pressure in your low back. And when you're twisting, just a nice upper body back bend. Stretch it out and relax. Inhale upright. Exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around again. Arms by your ears. Stretch the spine apart and turn to the opposite side. 
and let your breath and feel it out a little bit. And again, just deepen as much or a little as your body needs on this side, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment and breathe, arms staying by your ears, and then work your way up. And again, on the upper body, that bend as you get to the top, lengthening into it, lifting your heart. And of course, breathing. And then inhale upright, exhale right to the center, arms up into extended mountain. Stretch out through the crown, through the fingertips, and then pivot forward, arms by your ears, and stretch it out. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then drop in the rag doll, just turn. Pull in deeper if you love it, with your hands behind your legs. And then hands back to the center before you do your roll up. And as you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment again, noticing how much more stimulated your spine is as it's activated in all six directions. And then keep that spine stretching apart, we'll do another twist. So just gently side to side, following your hands from one end of that circuit to the other, crown reaching toward the ceiling, shoulders relaxing down. And just feel the spine giving a little bit more motion, exhaling any tension. And then back to the center, Bring your shoulders up, back, and down. And let's do the back stroke and swimming, bringing that arm in near your ear as it comes up through the leg. So notice that it's not just your arms or shoulders working. Your whole spine, whole body moves as you do the exploitation. And then bringing both arms up again. We're going to come up on one side and lift the toe, lift the heel on the opposite, so you're coming up on your toes, the side of the stretch stays flat, and those ribs get a little extra open. Bring that side down, and the other one. And again, just stretch it out, lengthening the side. Bring it down, inhale, and stretch. Exhale, down, inhale, the other side. And then both feet down, both arms up, back into extended mountain. Pull those shoulders, shoulder blades, sitting bones down. Spread your toes, feel your body, exhale, and release any tension. Continue stretching it out in extended mountain in another moment. And then swan dive forward, lead with your heart. Stretch it out parallel to the floor and stay here. Spread your toes, sitting bones and crown apart, and another twist. So go ahead and pivot, bringing one hand down and the other one opposite. Go as deeply into that movement, turning your hips, ribs, and shoulder, looking to the side. Stretch it out. Exhale. And again, on an inhalation, pivot back. Parallel to the floor, sitting bones and crowns stretching apart, arms from reaching away, and pivot to the other side. So the spine is nice and open so you can go into that twist. And again, hip lifts slightly on the side you're turning toward as you move your hips, ribs, and shoulder, as well as your head into the twist. Just looking to the side, lengthening, exhale, pivot back to the center. Stretch it out and pivot back up. Arms at shoulder level and then palms toward the ceiling, we're reaching together and exhaling to mountain pose. As you get back in the mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your spine, your body a little more activated. Turn your toes slightly up. So you're turning your whole leg. Me going towards still your second toes. And then bend your knees, not beyond your toes, and put your hands above them. And remember, you're positioning, not supporting, so no pressure on the hands. And then push your sitting bones back and your chest forward, coming into the back bend. 
So it's a pelvic tilt, really push those sitting bones up and back. Lock the ribs, look slightly to the front, but don't lift your chin too much. And then exhale, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, pulling the ribs in, looking at the space between your toes. So remember, no pressure in those hands, just keep the shoulders at all times above your toes, pushing the sitting bones back, inhaling, opening that heart, coming into the back bend as deeply as your body wants. And then exhaling, rounding, sucking in that belly, and looking down, chin slightly in, stretching the back of your neck. And then look your chin out a little bit as you come all the way back up into the center, and again into mountain pose. Take a moment there and breathe and bring your arms to shoulder level. Turn the palms up and spread your fingers and some big circles. Just keep reaching out through the fingertips, up through the crown, smaller circles, and then stop. Turn the palms down, keep reaching out, keep the head reaching up, keep the shoulders and shoulder blades down, and circle the other way. So big circles down, chest reaching out, to root out that motion and then make the circle small. Feel the difference and stop. Keep those arms where they are, spread your toes, we're pushing to one side. So the hips stay over the ankles, pushing that upper torso back to the center and go the other way. Your ribs stretching a little bit in front of the knee and back to the center. Stretch it out through the arms, through the head, down with the shoulders, and then palms toward the ceiling, and bring the hands together, clasp them, look up and press the palms toward the ceiling, and bring the hands out to the front, straightening up, keep the shoulders down, bring the hands back up, interlace the other way, shift those fingers one way section over, pressing out, Again, out to the front, and back up. And then releasing the hands, bring the shoulder level, and your sides. Relax through the shoulders, you can move around a little bit if that's good. And then bring your feet together. Bend your knees again, not beyond your toes. Hands above the knees again, just positioning, no pressure. And then circle the knees. Remember, don't bring them beyond the toes, just gentle circles around, getting that whole lower body doing a little bit more effort. And then stop and reverse the circles. And just maximize or minimize, but don't go beyond your toes. And then come back to the center, straighten it out. Look out in front of you on the floor and lift your heels coming out to the ball of your foot area and your toes. Spread the toes themselves out. Find your balance. Keep lengthening your spine. And then roll back and forth a few times, working the bottoms of your feet. Ankles, arches, toes, and release. Come back up into hip width apart, mountain pose. Take a moment there, just breathing. And then bend your knees again slightly. Either cross your arms at your low back or bring your fingertips up between your shoulder blades into a reverse prayer, just to keep your shoulders flat. And then circle your hips. So just big circles as much as your body likes. Remember, don't bring those knees over your toes or beyond, just gentle circles. And then stop and go the other way. Just nice circles, getting those hips, legs, knees, ankles moving around. And then release and come again into mountain pose. As we get back, turn your toes slightly out again. 
whole leg turning so that your knees go toward your second toes. Bend your knees, hands above your knees, another twist. So stretch the sitting bones back and the crown forward, getting those bones separated. And exhale, returning to the side, bring your shoulder all the way down toward the knee that's on the opposite side. So you're turning hips going up a little bit on that back hip and ribs and shoulder, as well as your head turning into the twist. Keep lengthening through the spine. Stretching it out so it can twist maybe a little bit more as you exhale. And then again, turn back to the center and straighten things out so we can twist the other way. Exhale, bring that shoulder down and across. And look to the side. So the hip you turn toward goes up a little bit. The ribs go down on that other side. And again, the whole body is turning, not just your neck, letting your whole spine get a little twist. And again, exhale, turn back to the center, and then inhale your way up with your chin slightly in, and turning your toes back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you breathe and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling, looking at your thumbs, come into your back bend, swan dive forward, exhaling over, pivoting at your hips, and drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, our halfway up stretch. So elbows, knees, and spine straight, including your neck. So don't push your chin forward, just keep looking down toward your toes. Sitting bones go back, shoulder blades also. And exhale, drop into ragdoll, just hang a moment. And then palms together, inhaling. Bring your hands to your heart, keeping your shoulders down. Keep them down as you raise your hands toward the ceiling. And another back bend, lifting your heart, pulling those thumbs back and looking at them. Exhale, and again, let's pivot over all the way into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just feel your body, let that spine get a good stretch. Slide your hands up under your knees and again, straighten and stretch the spine. Bend your knees and exhale to the floor, coming all the way down to our child pose transition. Sink your heels, hips back toward your heels and your hands next to your feet. Bring your forehead down toward the floor. Knees together if you like that back stretch at your lower back. Shoulders forward. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing. All the tension releasing. And then inhale and we'll do a few more twists. So go ahead and bring your legs out to the front. Sitting bones slightly behind you, core activated, coming into our staff position, crown toward the ceiling, push your heels away, and don't forget to breathe. So bend your right leg, put the foot outside the left knee, and wrap your arms around. Pull the knee in, shoulder, shoulder blades down, crown high. Remember, always on twist, just stretch the spine apart. Keep your right arm around the knee and your left arm straight out. And as you exhale, bring that hand around behind you. Drop it to the floor close to your body and stretch up from the sitting bones all the way through the crown. Exhale, deepen your twist. So the hip, rib, and shoulder area all move into your twist again. Keep pulling in with that arm around the knee and stretching up through the spine nice and straight, letting those sitting bones on the floor move slightly as you go in deeper into your twist. And then bring the arm up, follow it back to the center, releasing your hands and your leg. Take a moment feeling that twist energy, and of course we'll do the other one. So the knee comes in, or foot comes in, and then to the opposite side of the leg. Wrapping your arms around, get a good stretch through the spine as you relax the shoulders down. 
Then keep the left arm around the knee this time, bringing the right arm out. Stretch it up and exhale, following it into the twist. Again, bringing the hand to the floor close to your body. Stretch up from the sitting bones through the crown. Get the spine bones moving apart. And exhale, deepening the twist. So pulling the knee in and moving the whole body, all the spine bones, everything. Turn into your twist as deeply as you like, hips, ribs, and shoulder, as well as your head. Take a breath. Relaxing. And then again, arm coming up, follow it back around to the center and release. Push out through your heels, up through the crown, feel your spine a little bit more activated. We're going to do something similar. So bring that knee in outside the knee. So your right knee is bent. You're going to take your right shoulder inside the knee this time and wrap the arm back towards your head. Uh, left arm comes out, again, follow it around, and either bring it to the floor close to your body or see if you can press your hands behind you. And then pull the knee in with your arm, stretch up through your head, exhale, turn behind you a little bit more. So as deeply into that twist as you want. And again, pull these on your own, much longer, but for now, just release. And follow your hand around back to the center, releasing to staff position. Take a moment again, feeling that twist energy, and get ready for the opposite twist. So foot to the outside, shoulder inside the knee, and again, wrap the arm around toward your hip. Stretch up, and bring the arm out. Exhale around, and again, either close to the floor on the mat or bring your hands together. Pull the elbow into your arm or your knee, and exhale, hips, ribs, and shoulder again, turning into that twist. Take a breath. Just deepen as much or a little as you need. Releasing, bring the hand back to shoulder level, following it back to the center, and again, releasing into staff position. Two more twists before our relaxation. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, activating your core in staff position, rolling slowly to the mat. As you get all the way down, just relax. And then we'll do a couple of twists. So bring your hands out to T position, palms up, and we'll do a thing each. Twist to the side. Sitting bones toward your heels, bending your right leg with the foot on the left side. Keep your head on the floor as you roll over to the side. Bring your hands together and the knee to the floor. Take your left hand on your knee. And your right hand toward the ceiling. Look up at it, palm open, and lower the back of your hand, let it shoulder level behind you as you look at it, drawing your body into the twist. So the shoulder may stay up, the hand may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just go as deeply into that version of the twist as your body makes or needs to be. Knee stays on the floor for that lower back twist. If that's too much, remember, you can always add with a blanket or a pillow under your knee. And of course, turn your head only as much as your neck beats for that neck area twist. And as the hand goes closer to the floor with gravity or all the way, just focus on the shoulder relaxing, deepening into that middle back twist. Exhale any tension, deepening into your twist as much as you want and need to do. Exhale, just relaxing completely, letting those feel the nice release. And of course, hold that a long time on your own if you want it. It'll do even better. But for now, just release your knee, rolling onto the back. Sliding your foot near the other one and relaxing. 
And of course, we'll twist to the other side. So sitting bones and legs more towards your heels, bend the other leg, bring that foot to the opposite side. And head on the floor, moving to the side, knee all the way down, coming onto your right side. Knee to the floor, holding it there with your right hand, and bringing your left hand toward the ceiling, palm open. Again, right at shoulder level, let that hand drop toward the floor behind you as you turn and look toward it for your neck area twist. The hand may not make it to the floor on this side, just go wherever it needs to go for your body. And of course, keep the knee on the floor if that low back version works for you. If you need to pad, feel free to do so. Exhale, as you get into your twist, just letting gravity release the arm and go even deeper into that release. Exhale. Let your body uh, tension out. Deepen into your chest on the side. And of course, whenever you're ready to release, let go of your knee and roll on to the back. Slide a bit near the other one and take a moment just to relax. Keep those arms at two position. We'll do one more version of the twist. So sitting on toward your heels, press your back gently down and allow those knees to bend straight up toward the ceiling. Heels forward near your sitting bones. Shift your hips over to one side and slide the left leg out, putting your right foot on the left side. And we're just going to take the left hand onto the outside of the knee in this version. You kick your hand palm up or palm down on the front hand on the floor and keep the shoulder on the floor. This version of the twist keeps the shoulder down first and draws the knee across. So just draw the knee toward the left and letting the right knee come toward the floor. Now, as you get into your position, just let gravity do the work. No pressure, just allow the weight of your hand to pull you further. Turn your head toward that arm behind you. And remember, keep the shoulder down in this version of the twist. The knee doesn't make it to the floor. That's perfectly okay. Go only as far as your body is willing and ready to do with gravity. Deep breaths, exhale. Let those ligaments release. Do you bring into your twist as much or little as your body needs to do? Deep breaths, really good. And of course, fold it longer on your own as much as you want to move. But for now, let go of your leg, roll onto your back, and slide the foot near the other one. Take a moment, feel your body as it responds to that twist energy. And of course, get ready for your next twist. So final twist, just sitting bones toward your heels, drawing the heels both in near your sitting bones, and back gently down. And again, we're going to shift the hips to the left. And slide the right leg down, putting the foot on the opposite foot. And this time we're drawing the right hand to the outside of the knee, turning your head toward that left arm, palm up or down, your choice, keeping the shoulder on the floor. And just draw the knee across toward the floor on this side, going only as far as your body wants to go. And remember, not a lot of pressure in that hand. Just wait, drawing it across for the floor. Exhale. As those ligaments release, the body may release further into the twist. Let it happen if it does. And if it doesn't go too far, that's okay too. That's where you're ready to be. Deepen as much or as little as your spine wants. Lower back twist, hip area twist as that knee comes across. 
head turning for your neck area, and of course, shoulder staying down in the station for that middle back twist. Just deep and as far as your body wants and needs on this side. Exhale, just let it go. Shoulder down, knee maybe not. Just relax. And of course, on your own, you'll hold the twist longer for more effect. But for right now, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, straighten things out as you bring the feet next to each other. Hip uh, width apart, and bring your hands, palms up next to your hips, and lean into corpse position for our final relaxation today. Draw your toes toward each other and then let your lower body completely relax. Release those shoulders down into the earth. Let your hands release, palms up near the hips. Bring your head side to side, releasing your neck. Exhale and let attention just let your body grow heavy, sinking deep into that earth support. Exhale and letting it go. As you breathe more deeply, exhale fully and let your body relax completely into the earth support. And as your body relaxes even further into that earth embrace, let it go. Blend thoughts of your body release as well. And know, of course, that it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. Allow those new thoughts come into you to release as well. Letting your mind drift just easily as your breath, letting away beyond awareness. And as your body relaxes and your mind just first release any thoughts of the past or anticipation of the future, let the thoughts go in and out with your breath without attention. And just let your awareness turn toward that peace within. Fill your mind with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Take a few moments. Be peace. You just keep relaxing today if you have time and opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, <clears throat> just draw energy and events with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently. How ever feels right for you today. Breathing and stretching, how ever feels good. And when you're ready for your final yoga of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. <clears throat> Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hold. Let your body know you appreciate it. So never today. And the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side, sit back up, get even.
Thanks for joining me.